Welcome back to the One Minute Barber channel. Now, this might look like the craziest self haircut you've ever seen. I think it's gonna be the easiest. My name's Michael Holm, I've been a barber for 18 years, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a totally new way and a very easy way to do a fade yourself using a headband. Now, if you're a man at all, you own a headband. Just think of all the great men that have worn headbands over the years. It makes you 10 times more kick-ass right away. You cannot be serious! Obviously not him though. That was going so well up until that point. Right, let's get down to it. The reason I'm using the he band is because I want to give myself an accurate line all the way around the head as I'm working, and that's gonna help me to move up in little increments without actually requiring the mirror so much. Although I still will be looking in the mirror to see what I'm doing. So let me just show you how I've got this set up. First of all, the he band is forming a nice line for me. So I'm just gonna come up to that line with the zero. And then what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to move the band and I'll show you how we progress from there. If you're gonna do this, you need to use a clipper with a lever, okay? So lever's very, very important for fading work. That's basically so we can move up in little increments as we're working our way up the head. I've got my gown on now and I'm just gonna make my first line with my wall senior and the blade closed. That's the lever pushed all the way forwards. Now that I've made the first bald area, what I want to do is I want to get into longer hair. So I'm going to move this band up a little bit and then I'm going to extend my clipper blade a little bit so that it's slightly longer the next time I cut higher. So let's go, let's do this, right? Let's pull this up. Okay, it's stuck to my head. I'm going to just pull it up slightly there, all the way around. So I've just raised the he band slightly there. Um, I think that's enough hair to take off in the next pass. So I'm gonna move up slightly higher and I'm just using the he band again as a guide. This time I'm gonna move the lever on the clipper to the quarter position. So that's not fully open, it's not fully closed, it's just bang in between the two, okay? And that should be enough that you don't notice that we've moved to another level. So far, so good. Let's move this baby up one more time. Oh, it does stick to the head though. So, the half position, okay? Lever fully open. And that slides that bottom blade forward all the way.
We don't actually know what it's going to look like under here, but let's move up one. Get your number one guard out. Let's go with this. Move up a little bit higher. So I've moved my line higher with the He-Ban now. Let's go up a little bit higher with the number one. Now, look, what can happen here is the teeth from the guard can get underneath the he-band. You don't really want that. You want it to slide over the top of the he-band like so. So sometimes you can get left with a little line when you go from the half into the one. The good thing with the wall senior is that it comes with a little half guard, which is much smaller. So I'm just gonna go up, but not as high as I did with my one into that line to see if I can make it disappear. So I'm gonna move up a little bit more now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it square. So I'm gonna put it across my forehead and then I can feel it just above the occipital bone there, almost on the curvature of the occipital bone. That's that bone that curves at the back of your head. So I just want it on about there so it doesn't fall off. And I'm gonna move my clipper to a number one with the lever pushed down so that's all the way forwards. Let's see how that goes. So the hardest part of the fade is moving from one increment to the next, getting longer and longer and longer. And the heat band is great for making a line, a guideline that we can follow. So you know that you've got time to set the band up. And then once it's in place, you can remove that little amount of hair and then move up. It's a good way for you to work slowly and uh, learn and be careful without obliterating all the hair. Once we get to that one and a half point, okay, how do we get into that long hair? Okay, this is 
the point where the he band goes. Okay, we get rid of that. And we've got this slight disconnect here and I wanna show you how to get rid of that. It's gonna be really easy. It's something that you might be afraid of, but don't be, don't be because it's so simple, okay? What I want you to do is set up your clipper with a number two guard now, okay? And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna go straight up the side of the head. If you've seen some of my other videos, I go on about this all the time, but because we've managed to get into a one and a half, the next step is a number two. So when we hit this line, there'll be almost no blending in at all to do. And if we just go straight up, the hair, the hair will blend itself in to the rest of the head. Let's do it. There's a couple of things I want to say to you in this video, if you're doing this yourself, is the He Band does make an excellent guide and it takes you all the way with your fade up to that point where you get to longer hair and then you're gonna to have to get rid of the He Band. So it's a good aid to get the fade up to the longer hair to some extent. Um, the other thing is, remember, look how slow I work. Now I'm a professional barber, I work really slowly and the reason I do that is because it prevents mistakes. So for you, just work even slower than me. You know, take your time, don't rush, okay? If you would like to learn more about barbering from me, then you can find me on Udemy as well, and I'll put a link down below. I have, uh, I have a barbering course for people who want to learn more about barbering over there. The top's still long and crazy, so I'm gonna throw in a little bit of my favorite hair bond texturizer, which is a dry texture spray. Just ruffle that in and... You can find me on Instagram at The One Minute Barber. I'll put a link as well below for He Band. They've got their own Instagram page, so head over and check that out. Don't forget as well to hit me with any questions, any comments, 
anyone who's tried using the he band this way or tried fading their own hair if you're having difficulty ask me some questions because i'd love to answer or help you out or maybe make some more video relating to that subject please hit subscribe if you want to see more from me but until next time good luck with your fade barber and i will see you in my next video Thank <laughs> you.